happened here? What do we have here? So back in last year, end of October, 1st of November, I was diagnosed of um, an aggressive form of breast cancer, invasive medullary carcinoma. And um, the doctors told me that I had um, quite a few lumps in my right breast. And at the time, I didn't know that I ha had also spread to the lymph nodes. Oh, wow. And you had a meeting <laughs> actually in Tulsa. Tulsa. And I was at home. No, and this December 27th, I had just had my first surgery, the removal, and I was just claiming right there on the couch. You had, the Lord spoke to you, said somebody's got something underneath their right arm, and I knew right then and there that the Lord was speaking to me. It was me. And that's what I wanted to show you. I know he did it, and the test results came back negative for all underneath all lymph nodes. It was. So I hadn't even started chemo at that time when they had done the biopsy. Oh. And I'm going to give this to you because it shows where in the PET scan it was there and then it wasn't after. I had to walk away because I was crying. My, you brought tears to my eyes. Well, I love you. I don't. This is a wow. So that service. Yes, sir. Were, I was you, here in Lakeland. You were up there in Tulsa. Oh. No. And you had. Uh, it was on the internet live. It was streamed. It was streaming. Yes, sir. I will tell the and pastor. And they told me the doctors were saying you can't go out in the crowds and stuff. And I said, well, I'm gonna claim it right here in my living room then. And that's, and praise God, I haven't even finished treatment yet because the type of breast cancer I had was so aggressive. They went ahead and started chemo, but this past Monday, I'm not even finished with chemo yet and they can't find any more cancer. <laughs> tonight how you can't wake up tomorrow morning on your way on your way for coffee your name is a higher oh than any other your name is Jesus your name is Lord your name is higher for the higher how do you not do that how do you not get caught up in your own paradise every day I mean, you see this girl. I know some of you were thinking, wonder what happened to her. She just told you. <laughs> no more. <laughs> and I'll 
tell you this. I'll tell you this. If you've never had that horrible disease, and I hope you never do, you have no idea the psychological warfare when you know you have an invasion in your body of that disease. And the kind she had aggressive and and they, and they can't even find it. Yeah. And what's your name, sweetheart? Erica. Erica. And you live here in Lakeland? Yes, sir. And, and you got healed by the Tulsa. And yes, you're sir. clean. Yes, sir. Just this past Monday, they told me when they were checking everything, they just couldn't believe it. They're like, you're not even finished with treatment yet. We can't find anything. Do you have a church in Lakeland you go to? Yes, sir. Where do you go? Uh, well, actually, it's in Bartow, but um, the Board of Life Christian Center. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, sir. I have friends in Lakeland. But this <laughs> is amazing. And what your parents think? Are you, what, who are you? I brought my family here oh, tonight. I brought where? my sister. Where? My kids. Where? Stand up. Oh, right here. Stand up. Stand up. That, that's my sister, these my kids. These are your children? Yes, sir. That's your, what do you think of this? It's not the first time. Can you hardly believe this? Of this? You know, this is not the first time okay. she's been healed with you. Okay. You healed, she, God healed her of endometriosis a few years ago. And what meeting, your, what meeting with was your, that? With your touch. She was on Miracles Today. On the show? Oh, you were on, on the, the show? show? Yes. You can, we, can we put this on the show? Yes, absolutely. You'll come over and testify on the show? Yes, sir. That is so good. That's your dad. Oh, wow. Andre. Very good.